back him up a little bit? No, you're right. What's got? What was the first day? How was this day? Uh, it was good. You know, to get outside and, and uh, you know, really coach, you know, with, with these guys. We've had some meetings and installation meetings just with the rules allowed, but, you know, we really haven't been on the field with them with the ball. And so to teach technique and, you know, really a longer individual technique type practice because we're in, you know, we're in helmets and we'll be back tomorrow in the same year. Won't go full pads until Thursday. So chance to get back on the field and, and see what guys can do. And, and uh, there's a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. It's good. Now that you had some more time to evaluate the roster, what stands out to you? Well, I don't think we've had any time to evaluate the roster. You know, I've had an hour and a half today. So well, since uh, you started here, yeah, but we, we still haven't done anything. You know, I I haven't seen these guys play um, on live on the field. So that that evaluation process is is ongoing. You know, it's really the beginning of it, and and you know that started really tonight. I don't want to get into dramatic. Can you, can you feel there's excitement from them? But they're ready to go. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, it's, it's coaches. You, you yeah. know, you, you just, you, you're just working. That I thought they were, they responded well. You know, the first day, a new place, new coaches. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to expect. You know, they don't know anything. So I thought, all in all, you know, for, for, you know, really, just a new, new everything. I thought their energy level was great, and, and they, they gave good effort. That's all you can ask right now. How long? What does that compare to your last two first days? Huh? It's, you know, they're all different. Um, they're all different. So, um, you know, the rules have changed a little bit in, in the fact that uh, what's happening and, and the preparation you, you, can, you can have now with, with meetings in the spring. So, they're all a little bit different. The pace is different. It was a lot faster than maybe the first one at Houston. But, uh, you know, these guys are willing and, and like I said, the attitude is great. What is the main thing you hope to accomplish this spring? Well, yeah, you know, I think uh, it's an evaluation, as you said. I mean, we, we've got to come out of this, like to come out of the spring, you know, with with uh, a, a good idea of who our, our starting football team is, you know, and then be able to develop depth uh, based on this group, but also based on uh, who's coming in in the summer. So. Um, Really, it's it's a situation where we, we want to evaluate our players, um, and then evaluate our schemes based on what our guys can do, right? So, and and see what they can do first, and how how we can, you know, what's the best way for us to win games, and, and you know, that might be different by April 14th than it is today, based on based on what we see in practice. Do you believe in having a depth chart by the end of spring, or? You kind of like to keep that open. Well, I'll give you one. It doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> <You'll get laughs> I'm serious. No, I mean, I'll, you got to do one for all these magazines and everything else, you know, so there'll, there'll be one. But I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much stock in it. How I, long will it take for the offensive guys for the playbook to become kind of second nature? Well, no, you know, we, we really do, um, you know, four installations. So, you know, we're on install one right now. Basically, it, it matches kind of the weeks. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll go this whole, probably this whole week with just the, what we put in. But there's, there's been plenty because of the, as I said, because of those rules, you know, we've had, I don't know, um, probably nine meetings, nine and a half hour meetings with this, going through those installs already. So, um, for the most part today, you know, it, it, was, it was pretty good. And it should be based on the amount of time we've, we've had with um, so, you know, we'll see. As, as I said, and, and, and typically, you know, I've sped up or I've slowed down based on um, what guys can grasp, how, how we're working it, and particularly the quarterback. And so that, that really kind of dictates how far we can go because we still have summertime, those rules with those meetings, and we've got fall camp. Is it different for the offense compared to the defense since the coordinator – is the same? Uh, is I don't. Similar? I don't know. Uh, you know. I think there's some carryover, um, obviously, with Marcel. Um, but we got some new guys out there too, and, and so, you know, communication is different because we got some new coaches on, on defense. Uh, but you know, I have to look at the video, and, and you know, like I said, I think it's a, it's an ongoing process. So we'll, we'll, we'll 
we'll see where we are. You've been here a few weeks. Has it been a whirlwind to get to this point since you've been? Yeah, it's slowed down now. I mean, but at the beginning it was a lot of a lot of this, mm -hmm. you know, not a lot of that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now there's a lot more of that. So and this is what you were looking for. Yeah, this is yeah, this is that's why I'm here. So. Um, you know, be on grass, and, and that's that's always a good thing. Uh, got a little chillier than I thought it would have <laughs> tonight, but that, that was good. I mean, it was there's a lot of energy, and, but for me, it slowed down, yeah, quite a bit because I, I actually now know how to get home and back <laughs> to my parking spot over here without uh, navigation. You guys got to laugh, man. Yeah, you guys are too. It's all the delivery. It's all the delivery. It's all the delivery. How do quarterbacks look out there? Uh, they're all right. You know, we got, for what we asked him to do today, um, they're okay. There's a lot of things. I, and when you, you know, it's it's easy watching video and, and you know, seven on seven with the on routes on air and there's no, uh, you know, and as you said, the defense right now is probably a little bit ahead schematically because they, they, they know what they're doing. So uh, line was been, we were making move calls and blitzing guys. It was happening fast. So, um, but they'll, they'll, they'll be all right. They, we, we want that to happen so that guys get a sense of urgency. You know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to block that or, or, or handle it. And the more we get to see it, um, you know, the more practice we'll get. How do you but, feel about the depth of that position? There's not a lot of experience behind Khalil. No, there's not. But, uh, you know, we, we've got to find some guys. And, um, you know, we've got some guys who are coming in here too. So, you know, we're, we're not playing a game. Uh, we've got the spring game, I guess you'd call that. That's, we're not playing anybody else until next fall. So um, we've got guys out here that we can develop, and we've got guys on the way. Is Keyshawn ready to go for spring? Um, I'm not going to give any injury. Um, so, so. Coach, you were know, having a good time out there. What did it feel like? What were you thinking about when you were going from drill to drill? Uh, what was I thinking about? Um, to be honest with you, what I was doing. So, <laughs> I mean, just uh, what was on this paper, the next drill. And, and uh, you know, just, it, just it, you know, it's football out there. Like I said, it was, it was fun to be back out there and, and, and instead of, um, talking all the time and, and you know and, and being around our guys it was great. So, um, you know, basically thinking about the next drill, what we're doing, evaluating where we are, figuring out you know what. Uh, you know, shoot, I was last week. I had to go out this first time. I had to walk around the practice fields, figure out what was going on, where things were, and everything else. So, um, you know, it was one of those deals and just assessing where practices, where the best place to practice different drills are coming up. Uh, you know, for the rest of the spring, maybe moving things around a little bit and on those fields. Were there some players who were unavailable tonight because of class conflicts? And yes. Do you know who they were? Yes, we, we, we had a couple guys that, uh, well, we had a couple guys that, that because of the change of schedule, uh, the best we could do, um, you know, I've got a list of them. I can't write off the top of my head because we have some guys who came, came late to meetings with a couple guys that had to leave early. So some guys that came maybe after you were, after you guys had left and we got the majority of practice. And um, we had some other guys who had to leave a little bit early. And, and really everywhere I've been in the spring, that's always been a battle because you're scheduling classes that are uh, a little bit different than the fall. You're so, going to be doing evening practices for the most part? Uh, yes, spring? yes. What did you and we'll, 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 we'll do that in the fall also. What did you but it will be, they'll move up a little bit earlier, but it'll be, it'll be in the afternoon. What did you learn when you went back and watched tape of Khalil last year? Um, I'll be honest with you, I haven't really watched a bunch of tape. You know, I, I, this is a little bit different. It's the third time I've done this. I, uh, I try not to watch as much tape um, of the previous year, just so of anybody on the team. Just I, I want to get a clean slate, and you know, I think um, to answer your question, that's what the evaluation process is for. Just so I'm not swayed by, you know, what I've seen on tape, or this guy can play, this guy can't play, or, or listen. You know, that's what I told these guys the first day. You know, it's a you got a clean slate, and um, you know, for for some of you, that's awful news because you think you've arrived, and, and and for some of you, this is great news because I I don't know what you can, do. and uh, we kind of kept it that way. That's why the evaluation process live is, is, is more important to me and and his growth 
why? Because on tape, it's one thing, you know, but what we're asking him to do might be a different thing, and, and, and just to help him continue to grow.